PR, we all make a big assumption that we'll use it on humans. But as we saw in this YouTube video that went viral earlier this month, CPR can save pets' lives too. This four-year-old boxer in Tacoma, Washington stopped breathing during obedience class, but his trainer essentially brought him back from the dead. So, in tonight's 9 p.m. Extra, we find out how to do pet CPR and learn why it might be the difference between life and death. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give rescue breaths. I'm going to take the tongue, pull it out past the canines. I'm going to make a nice tight seal with the mouth, and I'm going to blow into the nose. I'm going to take my right hand, bring it underneath of the front leg. Take my left hand, bring it underneath of the dog's chest, and then I'm going to give 15 chest compressions. Melinda Malone is teaching these ladies how to take care of their furry friends in case of an emergency. She's a certified master instructor in pet CPR and first aid. We never know when something's going to happen. We call it the unthinkable may happen at any time. When people take one of Melinda's classes, they not only learn pet CPR, but how to handle other pet emergencies like choking, bleeding, and broken bones. Pretty much what we're doing is emergency on-scene care to stabilize the animal so that we can transport them to the vet. According to the American Animal Hospital Association, one out of four pets would survive if just one pet first aid technique was used before getting them to the vet. We see the worst of the worst cases and it just breaks my heart that so many of them could have been prevented. Kim McCrone is a certified veterinary technician as well as a pet CPR and first aid instructor. She believes taking the class gives pet owners more confidence. I think just educating the people is what it's all about. Sheila Iyengar recently had to perform CPR on a dog. There's so many tragedies that can be prevented by just learning some basic, basic skills. Pets are becoming our children now. They're no longer just our pets or the outside dog. They're in our homes. They're sleeping in our beds. They're on the couches. Um, they're their children. And it's not just CPR. The Phoenix Fire Department recently saved a kitten from a fire using an oxygen mask donated, donated to them by PetSmart. Now, 